Um, so we, we're on the topic of focusing of, you know, coming back to faith, right? And it's whether coming back to your faith in God or coming back to the house of God. Um, we moved from being in the sanctuary during the pandemic and having to go virtually. And, you know, that was a huge shift. And so with the focus of coming back to Christ, the question that I have for, you know, you, Sister Ioni, is um, how did you maintain your faith in Christ during that time? And then afterwards, Sister Crystal, you can answer the same question for me because there are a lot of us that struggled. Like I, I shared last week as well, it, it, it was a true struggle for that. So how did you, you know, do that? To be honest, maintaining my faith during that time, I remember we have morning prior, we wow. have evening prior, and Wednesdays we have at noon, Thursdays at 11, and I've never missed any of them. Wow. I'm always on there, and when you do that, it strengthens you. You hear the voices of one another, you're yeah. able to pray for one another what they are going through, and that gives us the strength one for another. Right. And even sometimes I may not see the face, but the voices, I could pick up the voices of who's speaking, and I tell you, it really helps. So if those people were not listening and following the APC, you missed out a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was Amen. great. That, that. I tell you, it was great. And when you look at the media team, I said, God bless them, mm -hmm. yeah. what they've been doing. Amen. God bless you know, them. They have done an excellent job. Amen. So for those, and even people in the church, I send them stuff. This is how you get online. I, even people for prayer, I give Sister um, Diane, this is such and such names, prayer. And Amen. We work together. The Amen. God did an excellent job. Evangelism. Amen. That's, you know, that, that's true evangelism. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Sister Crystal? So for me, it was a matter of staying active. I have to be active at all times. I believe that's the only way I'm going to make it. Um, so yeah, I, you know, we were still coming out, those of us on the praise team taking turns, still, you know, ministering when it was, was our turn and things like that. I would listen to the prayer line. That was like my alarm clock. I'm not a morning person. So as soon as I hear my mom, praise the Lord, hallelujah, I'm like, you know, I start wake up. And, you know, so I think that kind of you know, kept me, you know, just constantly having, having those reinforcements. That's really, that, that's like, that's inspiring. Anna, so what did you miss about being, like, not being at church? Did you miss it? Tell me something. I missed being at church, and I missed my friends after church. Mm. That's good. So easy, and and that is important because we all miss the fellowship. Mm -hmm. Like that, that is that is so important. And you know, it's we we spoke about this last week as well. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it's just iron sharpeneth iron, right? And we all just need that as well. But let's be real. Um, being home for so long, I know I got comfortable, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so for that, with church reopening, did you have any difficulty coming back? Like, I mean, Crystal, <clears throat> you never left. <laughs> 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 so when it was Team 5, you were part of Team 5. But, but outside of that, you weren't here all the time. So, you know, Sister Ione, Sister Crystal, like, was there any difficulty in coming back to, to, to church when we reopened? Like me, it wasn't difficult at all because <laughs> it's like... I want to be there because mm. I want to yeah. see my family. I want to see my brothers and sisters because for that long time, I haven't seen them. Although we talk on the phone, yeah. it's a difference when you see one another, you can hug, you can, although we didn't have it, we couldn't get the hug yet, but yet I could see the faces waving. And sometimes I saw them with the mask. I said, well, I don't know who you are. Mm. <laughs> one day I said to one of my dear sister, I said, what's your name? And she pulled down the mask and said, oh my God. <laughs> I know who she was, but the mask didn't know who they were. But you know, I tell you, it was good coming back, seeing people of God and to worship mm. God. It was great. Mm -hmm. Was there ever, so I, I, we speak so much about the fellowship, but was there anything like deep down, even I'd say even more spiritual that, you, that made you decide to say, listen, this isn't working at home. Mm -hmm. Like I need to be here. Like, did you have any of that conflict? I didn't have any conflict. Okay. Honestly. <laughs> Not any. Only thing like sometime I said, oh, it was nice home. Yeah. Like I don't have to get up to go out. 
But after we in coming back, I was happy coming back. And there's one of the time when we register, and then it changes, and I couldn't get to come to the house of the Lord. But I was glad I could um, watch online yeah. and stuff like that. So I didn't really miss <laughs> anything much. It Praise was great. God. Sister Crystal? So for me, um, yes, I was here for quite a, you know, quite a bit, but there were days when we would you know, rotate and sometimes I'd be home. And that was, as I said, I'm not a morning person. I really am not. So I can't lie. I was like, oh, it's so nice. You just get up. I still got ready, right? I still put something on. I wasn't dressed up, but I still got myself ready. We all had a practice of we get ourselves ready. We sat on the couch. We sat like as a family and watched service. Mm. But it was just so fast, right? I didn't mm. have to do anything else. So it was easy to get comfortable right. on those days I didn't have to go. I was like, right. oh, it's like my day off, <laughs> right? But coming back, like from the very first note that was struck and seeing everyone and just being in the presence of God's people, I was like, there's no going back. Mm -hmm.